I used a concealer to sketch out my forehead and cheeks and then took a cream white to fill in the center of my face. I set everything with a matte white eyeshadow and then with a light gray started rounding out the shape of my eyes by applying it in and above my crease area. With darker grey eyeshadows, I deepened the outer areas of my eyes, as well as filled in my brows a bit. I applied a bright silver on the inner part of my eyelid and then used a gel liner on my lash and waterline. I set that with a black eyeshadow and then used a metallic silver cream to brighten the inner corners of my eyes. With a grey hydro color, I began filling in the cheeks and forehead to give myself a base. With a matte black eyeshadow, I started lining those areas and then shading the inside, keeping the black rather light on the interior and more opaque on the outer edges. I even used a bit of my gel liner to help with the depth and definition of the outlines and then just pulled it inwards. I repeated the same step on my cheeks and then used some makeup remover to make room for the gem area that I accidentally filled in. With a red hydro color, I outlined the forehead area and created the markings on the sides of my face and chin. With a white hydro color, I highlighted the top parts of the markings and used it to break up the cheek line a bit.
My camera cut out on the teeth part, but I just made interlocking teardrop shapes with a black hydro color and then made certain areas between and around the teeth darker for some depth. With that same black, I started adding detailing to different areas and using it to shade under the markings. One of the things I loved about the inspiration picture is the cracking that happens along the face. I wanted to enhance the asymmetry by making one side of the face far more broken and damaged than the other. With a cream gold, I filled in the gem area and outlined it. For the neck, it was a lot of the same steps. I used the red to base out the trachea area and went over it with black to make the lines and side detailing. I again highlighted with the white and then used a black eyeshadow to shade the neck. Finishing touches were some false lashes, a pair of red contacts, and some black hairspray to complete the look. And that was it!